Hello there, this is a quick introduction to show you how to get started with your own private VPN server on the Amazon AWS cloud. The whole setup process should take about 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, if you have an Amazon account already, then that should be completed much faster. So, uh, like VPNs, as you all know, is like has a lot of benefits like privacy, anonymity, unblocking websites, and so on. You can also overcome geographical restrictions and so on. Like a lot of websites have blocks on video streaming based on the region that you're you're based in and so on. So uh, a private solution, the advantages compared to going through a VPN server that is hosted by a third party is that third party VPN providers could always monitor your activity or log your activity and so on. And uh, traditionally, setting up your own VPN server was complicated and like would take long time to set up and it's hard to maintain and so on. So this uh, guide is to show you how to set up your own uh, secure AWS uh, server hosted VPN server. So let me get started with a few steps. Uh, if you just visit the blog, which I will put in the show notes, I'm just scrolling down to go through the first steps. As you can see, the first step is to uh, set up an AWS account. Uh, if you already have an account, you can go ahead and log in. Uh, creating an account should take about uh, five minutes. Uh, there's some additional validation on the credit card and, and probably a verification on the phone number and so on. Okay, so once you have your Amazon AWS account set up, the first thing you have to do is to uh, select a region. Now, these are all described in the blog, but let me just go through Amazon and I'll walk you through all this separately. So uh, now I'm on the Amazon AWS uh, web page. As you can see, this is a list of services that are provided by Amazon. The first step here is just to select the region that you would like the server to be hosted on. Uh, for this case, I would let's say for this demo, I'm just selecting Asia Pacific Tokyo. Uh, selecting a region would mean that all the traffic out of the VPN would come from that region. For example, so your computer or your router at home or office would connect to the server VPN server in Tokyo, and all the data will go out through there. So. Uh, for a third-party site like Facebook or Hulu or YouTube, uh, it would seem like you are a visitor from Tokyo rather than wherever you are based. So you can select the region. As you can see, there are about nine regions from Ireland, Frankfurt, Singapore, and so on. I've just selected Tokyo at the moment, and that is the first step. The next step is to go ahead and click on Cloud Formation. Uh, the next step is to click on create stack. Uh, here you'll be asked a few questions about uh, what you need to set up. You can just put in a name, say what my VPN. You can have whatever name you like. The name is just a reference for you. The next step is to specify a template URL. Uh, typically setting up an AWS server would require you, uh, users to log in to the uh, to the server, set up uh, shell access, and do a lot of commands and stuff. We have simplified all that process by setting up a cloud formation stack. So this should be fairly straightforward for, to, for you to use. So scrolling down back in the blog, we have completed all these steps. I'm just going straight ahead and getting this URL here, cloud formation stack. And I'm just pasting in the URL here and clicking on the next button. Uh, okay, the next uh, step is to specify the parameters for the VPN server. Uh, in this case, uh, the first question is about the speed. Uh, you have like, a couple of options that we have thrown in here. Well, first one is a standard VPN with a free tier of the Amazon Cloud. I would recommend just going with the standard. If you, if you see that you're having multiple video streams or let's say a 4k video stream or like high intensive network um, yeah network utilization then it's better to go for uh, high ultra high speed and so on please note that they are all paid services uh, you can refer to amazon for the services and the fees 
So the next step is set up a VPN username and password. I'm just going in and putting WebDG all over. Uh, it is recommended to set up a more uh, stronger password and passphrase, obviously. Uh, so uh, the once you set up the VPN username and password, you're good to go. The passphrase is also required. The passphrase is for an IPsec tunnel. This is a bit more secure VPN which I'll get to in a minute. So once you have set up all this, uh, keep a note of your username and password as you will not be able to reset them again. And go next. Uh, just hit next again in the options. And you can just have a look at this page and just hit create. So right now, uh, Amazon is uh, taking up the template that we have provided and using the username and password combination that's only known to you. Along with the, the template stack and the password combination, Amazon is creating all the required dependencies and booting up the server. This could take about uh, two to three minutes, depending on the region you selected, depending on the availability of servers and so on. The best thing to do is to uh, leave this on for about uh, about a minute or so and uh, you should see that create in progress is uh, changed to a uh, completed state so i'll go ahead and pause the video and i'll come back in a minute okay so we are back and amazon took about a minute and a half to complete the setup you can see now that the the stack status shows as create complete which means that the stack is completed and the, your private vpn server is up and running if you navigate over to the tab called outputs here when you click on the outputs tab you can see the ip address of your private vpn server and this is again only known to you and this is unique to the vpn server that you just created now so yeah, i'm just making a copy of this your vpn server is all up and ready to start uh, being used so now uh, i'm on a mac at the moment and i'll just give you a quick overview of how I can connect to the VPN server we have just created right now. So I just need to open the network connection options here. So navigating over to system preferences, I get to network and under network, I just click on the plus icon here. It brings me different options. I select VPN. Uh, you can do either the L2TP over IPsec or the PPTP. Uh, L2TP is slightly more secure with advanced encryption. Uh, both of them can be done with the server. Let's go on for PPTP at the moment. Uh, you can leave it, the, the service name as it is. And now the IP address, we just I just copied it from there. Please note that the IP address is unique. You will have to use your IP address to connect to it. And I've just set up a, an easy password here. It's just WebTG. The next step is to click on the authentication settings. The password is WebTG again. Okay. And the under, under advanced tab, just click on send all traffic over VPN connection. This is useful to make sure that all data that is going through the computer goes through the VPN server. It's by default unchecked and it's good to leave it on. So once you have that done, just click on the apply button and you're all good to go. Just hit the connect button and the VPN should boot up in a second. Okay, so as you can see, the VPN is connected and you can see the data is being sent and received at the moment. So this is, we've connected right now through to a Tokyo server and you can see the data is being transferred. Uh, okay, great. So as you can see, we have set up our own private VPN server on the Amazon AWS cloud and uh, the whole process was fairly straightforward and we set it up with the unique username password and the server is private, meaning that only you have access to this VPN server and it is not shared with anyone else. Uh, if you go through the blog, you can see there are like uh, various ways to connect to the server on an Android phone, from your Mac, and even from your router and so on. So it's a good reference point. Uh, typically, it is a best practice to set up the VPN server on your router 
if you would like other devices like Apple TV or Chromecast or non VPN enabled devices to connect through your router to a VPN server. That's great. So we hope you found this useful. Uh, please do comment back on our blog or you can visit the GitHub page. The project is open source and you can report any issues on the GitHub page or you can um, comment on the blog. You can also contact us through our website. Our address is webdg.co.uk and you can send us a contact with any questions you have. So all the best with setting up your own private secure VPN server. Uh, looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye.